a decade later and still searching for a quarterback. I know it gets a lot of attention on quarterback, but it doesn't. I mean, I, I, we're going to try some different Why not different. We, we, we put in different guys. The Gators may have found their head coach in Dan Mullen, but the search for Tim Tebow's heir continues to go on. We'll play with who's going to give us the best chance to win. Franks off the play fake, plenty of time, throws the out, and he throws it right oh, to Georgia. Man. It hasn't been quite Cleveland Brown status. To the end zone, intercepted. But it's close. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. Since Tim Tebow, it's been John Brantley, Jacoby Brissett, Jeff Driscoll, Tyler Murphy, Skylar Morningweg, Treon Harris, Will Greer, Luke Del Rio, Austin Appleby, Malik Zaire, and Felipe Franks. We didn't pull him because he was terrible. We pulled him because the offense wasn't moving and we wanted to see if somebody else could get it done. Franks bench after a 9 for 22, 84 yard performance in Saturday's loss to Missouri. Backup Kyle Trask came in and let a touchdown drive. I thought he did okay. We'll watch the film. You know, I um, did some, you know, missed a throw or two here. So will Kyle Trask become starter number 12? We have two guys that are young guys that haven't played a whole lot of football. Um, so we're going to keep coaching them. If you're wondering about Emory Jones, Dan Mullen says the plan is still to redshirt him. So Gators fans looking at a QB competition that could extend into next season. But Dan Mullen says getting the program back to where it needs to be actually doesn't start with the quarterback. It's selling out the stadium. Well, this Gators team has two home games left. From Gainesville, I'm Pat Welter, Spectrum Sports 360.